happening tonight. Some local neighbors hoping to get answers. What started as a fire investigation is now being called a public health hazard. And dozens of containers of unknown chemicals found inside a dentist's home after it burned to the ground. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson is in Springboro for us tonight with the major cleanup effort underway now. Well, neighbors are going to be meeting here in Springboro very shortly. I can tell you they are growing more anxious by the day. I did get my hand on these EPA documents, which show cleanup is going to be costly, at least $125,000. A normally tranquil cul de sac now looks like a construction zone. Today, another trailer hauled in. Federal investigators were walking around, and those who live on Jackamar Court were told there's no parking in the street. We see all this action here, and it looks like it's, I mean, incredible. And disturbing, as another neighbor calls it. The home here, which belonged to Dayton dentist Victor Dubell, caught fire two weeks ago. These newly released photos show what investigators found on the property afterwards. About 50 containers of unknown chemicals, ranging from quartz to half gallon jars. Documents explain how they were found spilled, broken, destroyed, and many not labeled. If you pull up all this stuff here, you, you got to feel that somebody's going to feel anxious. I mean, I know he probably had a lot of solvents in there, and he's a dental-type guy, so you might have other things in there, but we'll find out tonight. Tonight, the United States EPA is expecting to announce a game plan as far as cleanup goes. Neighbors also hope to learn whether the soil or the nearby creek was contaminated. So we're looking forward to when the, it is over. For now, neighbors say it's not very reassuring when a chemical odor is still present, security guards the property, and there's a warning on the locked chain-link fence. This is a health hazard. The U.S. EPA declined comment today, saying they will speak to the media after they meet with residents, which will take place in about an hour. In Springboro, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Our messages left for the homeowner have not been returned yet.